Well, first of all, thank you very much to attend to this webinar. I am Marta Perez, the person who is leading this open call. I would like to mention that I'm going to record the webinar for the rest of the people that could not join us. Thank you for your time in this session. I would like to mute all your microphones. If you have any questions, please include it in the panel, and we will answer at the end of the session. Activate is an European multicentric large-scale pilot on a smart living environment for aging well, funded by Horizon 2021. Activate counts on a large consortium with 49 partners that represent all stakeholders involved, supply and demand side, technological, government, active and healthy aging service supply, and so on. It is developed in nine different deployment sites in Europe from seven different countries. The aim of Activate is to prolong and support the independent living of older adults in their living environments responding to real needs for caregivers, service providers, and public authorities through the deployment of innovative and large-scale pilots across nine, nine deployment sites in seven European countries based on IoT technologies. What is Activates doing? Activates has developed IOTES, an Internet of Things for Active and Healthy Aging Ecosystem Framework that integrates technologies along the full stack of Internet of Standard architecture, providing, providing interoperability across Internet of Things platforms and services, end-to-end -end security and privacy management, software tools for developers and deployers making easier the integration of Activate in a legacy infrastructure, data analytics capabilities, and a marketplace, marketplace for marketing and sales of compliance, active and healthy aging applications and services worldwide. Activate is involving more than 3,000 users that currently are receiving active and healthy aging services from local or regional providers. For better understanding, I would like to clarify the meaning of deployment site. It is a concept used in Activate to describe cities or regions that are already providing Internet of Things based services oriented to promote active and healthy aging of older population. Activate's large scale IoT pilot for aging well has been conceived as a unique opportunity to scale up use cases that the demand side considers strategic to improve aging well of target populations. They have been grouped in different daily activity monitoring, integrated care, health parameter monitoring, emergency trigger, exercise promotion, cognitive stimulation, prevention of social isolation, safety, comfort, and safety at home, mobility monitoring and advice for mobility, notification of abnormal situation, support for caregivers. Activate has produced and will continue producing in the next 15 months an unprecedented amount of new knowledge in form of technology know-how on Internet of Things for active and healthy, and healthy aging, user experience, security and privacy, GDPR compliance, guidelines and best practices, publications, and agile application methodology. The objective of the Open Call program of Activate is to extend the benefits of Activate experience beyond the boundaries of current pilots from new cities and regions deploy, deploying active and healthy aging services through Activate ecosystem to new designing new innovative applications and technologies and to new users and beneficiaries. First Open Call launched in July 2018, currently under ex execution, is financing 10 innovative, innovative startups to develop new AHA services and technologies that will be integrated for evaluation in the current employment site. Second open call to be launched in March 2019 is addressed to cities and regions in the European Union that are willing and commit to set up activates for, IT, for IoT for active and healthy aging ecosystem framework and services in the local ambit and commit the contribution in the evaluation and evidence creation of process of activates as well as sustainability 
and grow beyond the end of the project. With the second open call, we want to extend the footprint of Activate current nine deployment sites to three new deployment sites in the European Union and let enlarge the Activate ecosystem with mature deployment sites, cities, regions, providing IoT-based services to their citizens, replicating Activate's reference use cases and demonstrate the interoperability capabilities of Activate's IoT framework. New deployment sites to integrate into active, activates working dynamics contributing to evaluation and evidence creation. New deployment sites engage into a newborn European IoT for active and healthy aging, ecosystem community and health in the propagation of activates values worldwide. Co-create with new deployment sites the reference model for future expansion of active, of active and healthy aging ecosystem. Why to apply? Well, the advantage of joining activates are many. As an example, create the conditions of sustainability and scale up. Improve the quality, the quality of life of your elder population at general and individual levels, receiving more value for your money. Making your case system sustainable. Creating your own data economy to create and foster a culture of social participation. And who can apply? We are looking cities or regions belonging to the European Union and associated countries that meet the, uh, the following conditions, among others. Have a program or project of delivery of active, active aging services, currently running and, and serving a senior population and caregivers between 50 and 100. Have a sustainability plan and commitment on the continuation of services beyond the limits of the pilot. Have, a, have and bring the local ecosystem of care and technology providers. We expect consortiums of public and private, and private entities involving demand and supply side and technology providers. What activates will offer to selected deployment sites? Financial aid up to maximum of 2,000 euros for each of the awarded projects. Access to all technology and support of Activate. Co-design and employment plan. User recruitment and pilot execution. Compliance with Activate standards. Guidelines and support for the security and privacy assessment. Co-design of final pipe plan and evaluation methods adapted to Activate standards. Inclusion as a full member into, into the Activate Internet of Things ecosystem feature organization. Activate has a policy and a program of engagement for all organizations not founded that have or will participate in the first and second open call, but still maintain interest in Activate. The aim of these activities is to allow these organizations have its own experience with Activate technology and know-how and open real opportunities for all to work with and, with and in Activate. Well, this is the open call timeline. Open call publication was 20th of March. Open call closing will be in June 21st. Then we will have a period to review proposals. The winner publication will be during, during July 22. The agreement sign off is expected in September, September 2nd, and the kickoff the day after. Then we will have the different milestones of the project and in the project in June. If you want to apply, find all the requisite documentation and steps to follow for submitting your proposal on the open call section of the website. If you have any doubt during the process, there is a support team. Just send an email to opencall@activatesproject.eu. Well, now is the question time. If you have any, thank you very much. Well, we have this uh, first question. Hello, everyone. I can see the, well, no. <laughs> Don't 
do we have to to write the questions on the chat or we can uh, ask uh, with the microphone uh, well if uh, you can do it by by microphone there's no problem okay okay a uh, question from from uh, me care from init services it's um uh, the it is uh, the three new uh, sites that are going to be deployed in this new call. Uh, is there any any um, region limitation? I mean, I have seen that there's already three three seats in, in Spain. Uh, it's possible to to add any one in Spain, or it's three it's too much for uh, a same. Uh, country and the other question is if there uh, is can we participate in other site that is in other countries either if we are a, a company from Spain well uh, this open call is open for for everybody for every city that uh, belong to the European uh, state member so the answer is yes you can apply obviously as uh, we have this Three cities in Spain. We would like to enlarge our our ecosystem for the rest of the countries. But uh, of course, you can apply. And as we have three uh, opportunities uh, to to split the money, of course, you you can uh, you have the, this this opportunity to to apply. Okay, uh, and the second part was, it, for example, if there is a new site in France, uh, for example, that is, uh, for example, uh, in its services located in Basque Country, if it, it's possible for a Spanish company to participate in a site from Spain, for, yes. for example? Okay. Yes. I mean, if, for example, if there is a site in the south part of France, maybe we can be interested on, on participating on, on that. Okay. Well, we have another question. Hi, I'd like to know if British companies can participate in the call. Thank you. Well, it's a big question <laughs> and good one. Uh, I've been informed about that. And uh, yes, British companies can participate, but uh, the problem will be with the Brexit. Um, we still don't know. Um, if finally, I mean, if finally they still uh, be part of the European Union, that's okay. There's, there is no problem. The problem is if they are out. Uh, for sure, we will need to review the agreement, and uh, we still don't know the consequences of that, but uh, I cannot ensure the, the, the financing. This is something that is still uh, under revision. Julia, I can send to you, if necessary, the um, the information that I can uh, I have collected during these days, and I will and I will send to you in a separate email. Thank you, no problem. We'll have another question. If there is more than one consortium for the same deployment site applying for the call, how will you deal with this? Will you try to bring them all together into one deployment site or will you just select one applicant consortium? I don't understand very well. They are trying to say there are two consortiums from the same country, for example, how how the the open call winner will be selected. Is that right or Estoy trayendo la conexión siempre de escucho o no escucho, ¿sabes? Que... 
Um, hi, Daniel. Can you clarify uh, the question? Because, for example, um, yeah. in the, as I mentioned before, three, three dif different deployment sites. So if you are from Spain and you can create in consortium in Spain, you can apply. There is no problem for that. I don't know if it is the same question than before or... Maybe the question is that if uh, several consortiums are uh, pre presented or applying in the same city, if you are if activate consortium will manage uh, will contact them to to join them or 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 I don't know. No, you need to create your own consortium. Okay, so there is no also any possibility to. To uh, I mean, activate projects will not uh, help companies to create consortiums. Also, no, okay. no, no. You need to bring your own consortium. Okay. The applicant uh, have to submit uh, the proposal uh, with the whole consortium, including the man site, supply site, technological site. So, if in the same country there are two consortium applicants. Uh, well, the the revision, the the reviewers will select the best the best one, but uh, there is not individual partners can apply to this open call. There will be consortium including all the partners that we are asking for. You know, there are like uh, micro projects. There are uh, new pilots. So in these new pilots, all the stakeholders have to be part in this project. And updates cannot uh, help to create your the consortium. Is it clear, Daniel? I think that he he is not able to talk because he is uh, he's just able to write uh, okay. within the chat. But there is new questions. Um. Um, hello, this is Alicia. Uh, sorry. Uh, in the slide, who can apply? You mentioned cities or regions. Do you expect uh, uh, cities, uh, actual cities, to be formally part of the consortium as a public partner, or uh, or this can be consortium of some research entity? Um, Yes, I mean, the consortium needs to, to involve all uh, uh, demand side, supply side, uh, public authorities. But, but uh, yeah, public authorities uh, need to be part of the consortium, right? Mm. Or it's better that, uh, yes, I mean, it's not necessary, it's not a, a requirement, but uh, yes, it's better that you bring your, your authorities. But if not, we are not going to say, okay, if this consortium is not being uh, public authorities, it's not going to be selected. Thank you. Well, we have another question from Julia. Do you expect consortia to have an international component, member from different countries within the consortium? Uh, yes, I mean, it can be. Why not? Should it, it be an ongoing project or new one? It can be an ongoing project, yes. By your experience during the first phase of Activate with the current deployment site, what is an ideal size of a consortium? How many partners approx? Well, in my opinion, maybe the best option will be three between three and four. As you need to involve all the sites, demand, supply, and everything should be three and four, or four. Can a consortium propose to pilot sites in two countries? Yes, you can. So, well, Daniel is 
writing again. So the question I had pretty much was answered. If, for example, from Barcelona, I form a consortium and apply, but then someone else forms different consortium and applies. There's two applications for the same deployment site. Will you consider the two application in a competitive manner, or you will try to join them? Well, uh, um, let me see exactly exactly the best uh, answer for you. Um, I will I will take your question and I will come to you, okay? And uh, we are going to public these questions in a in a question and answer. Um, for the rest of the of the people that cannot join and maybe they have the same questions and I will include the answer there. Uh, this is Tomo from, from uh, uh, Montenegro, University of Donia Gorica. Uh, I have a question uh, regarding the, the usage or involvement or, or uh, technology coming from ActiveAge uh, ecosystem. Uh, for example, we are we are good as system integrators, and we do have partners that that have their own IoT platforms and technology. But I was wondering how much of uh, software and hardware can we get from the uh, uh, members of the existing, you know, existing members of the of the Active Age Consortia? Can you comment on that, please? Um, sorry, can you raise the question again? Uh, so I'll try to uh, summarize it. Can we actually uh, 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 define our pilots to be based on mainly on the technology, software, and hardware that could be provided by the by the existing members of the Active Age Consortia? So that do we have to provide our own technology, or can we actually uh, 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 get in touch with you guys and see what is all available and, and make a pilot using uh, the technology that's available already in ActiveAge? Yes, I mean, uh, there is these two possibilities. Uh, you can bring your own technology or uh, you can use uh, our technology that we are actually using. So if you need to, to know exactly the, which are the partners, um maybe we can we can public also in the in our website which are exactly the, the partners so then you can that you can look or I don't know if you need more clarification about the um, um the technology that that we are using I don't know do you need the names or well, I'm I'm kind of actually interested in a, in a what is available in, in your ecosystem of technology. You know, what can I use from your software and hardware rather than going out maybe adding some you know uh, third party that maybe I don't need. I can use something that you already have that will kind of be sufficient for the for the uh, pilot that we want to do. Okay, so for that uh, we will we will prepare some kind of information. And we will public in our uh, in the in the specific uh, site where you can download all the information. Uh, we will we will raise a new a new document with that information. Thank you very much. That, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I don't know if you have any other question. No? Okay. So thank you very much to join. Uh, yes, it has been recording. <laughs> yeah, and it will be submit uh, it will be uploaded in the in the website in the second open call section. Also, with uh, all the questions gathered in this uh, in this webinar, okay, we will try to answer of your request uh, in a proper way, and we, you will have all this information available as well in, in the website. Okay, so thank you very much. Well, to there, is a, sorry, there is another one. Mm -hmm. What will be uh, evaluated? Uh, what will be evaluated during the pilot? 
Yes, this is uh, Alicia. Um, in this timeline slide, you had some evaluation of the uh, uh, during execution of the pilots. What 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 does it mean? What will be evaluated? Uh, you have to to raise the, uh, the KPIs, and we will evaluate uh, accordingly. Uh, we need to define the KPIs in the proposal, um, or do you have already some KPIs? I I I cannot uh, really answer to you right now. So I will I will take note of your of your question, and I will I will share with you. If you can send me your uh, well, no. okay. I will I will I will take note of the of your question, and I will and I will answer in the in the question and answer uh, panel that we are going to to build. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Regarding the question, uh, Tomo Popovic, the slide two. Yes, I think we can share this uh, this presentation if it's useful for you as well. And that's all. Okay. Thank you very much again uh, to join this session. And uh, I mean, I will publish all this uh, question and answer. And for the for the ones that cannot be answered right now, uh, I will I will supply this uh, this information as possible. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye.